Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and today we're working on the E34, and you can't see it, but yeah, we're working on the E34 today, and as you may or may not know, uh, we have like only two door panels on it pretty much on the inside, we have that one, this one doesn't have one, and the driver's doesn't have one, and then the passenger front seat has one, so actually what I'm going to do, because this doesn't look very good, there's just random stuff everywhere, so I uh, basically... I was just looking around my house and I found some just like fabric. So what I'm gonna do is just cut it out to that shape and just put some fabric over it. So you know I don't have to I don't need to put the uh, you know the whole door panel back on. I can just have a nice sheet of fabric, it's nice and flat, some weight reduction going on, you know. So yeah, uh, yeah. So we're gonna do that and I'm gonna do it for probably just the two rear doors for now and maybe do the front doors, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do that and this is the door handle. I'm probably just going to have this sticking out just so you, nobody's going to sit in the back seats anyways because I still can't see that. One second. There we go. Yeah, there's no back seats, so nobody's going to be sitting there anyways, but if somebody does want to sit back there, then I'll have this sticking out so I can still open the door from the inside. It's just not an actual door handle, but that's all right. So, yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. I'll show you guys the fabric right now, actually. And now it's bright. All right, one second again. All right, are you ready for this? Here we go. Oh, whoa, it looks so, on the camera, it looks so weird. Anyways, oh yeah, that's what it is, some zebra fabric. Uh, I just found this like, lying around the house, so I decided, you know what? Let's, uh, let's use it for some nice door panels, so. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And the way I'm gonna, well, the first way I'm gonna try to uh, attach it, I was kind of thinking, you know, just, Met flat metal, how would I really attach that? I can't like screw it in. I guess I probably could, but I don't know. Don't want to get it like tangled up. So I'm gonna try to do is just use some hot glue and just put a lot of hot glue on it. You know, clean it off. It's a little bit rough actually. It's not like perfectly smooth, so hopefully the hot glue will kind of attach to it. Yeah, all right, let's do it. All right, I'm gonna go get the big tripod. Cause right now I'm just using a, a little gorilla pod. And I want to just kind of set the camera up so I don't have to like hold it or sit on the ground or anything. So we're going to grab this tripod and put the camera on it. And that'll be a, make it a lot easier. And probably better quality footage rather than this just sitting on the ground and just trying to get it aimed right. There we go. Got it on the tripod. Now it's nice and steady. And this is what I was using because uh, I can just kind of bend it and I can hold it, you know, just like that for whatever selfie mode. I can kind of set around and curl it around stuff, but it's not the best for, you know, sitting it down and like, you know, doing something because I have to set it up close to the ground and just kind of angle it up, angle it up and all that. So uh, yeah, you know, it's pretty nice. I'd recommend it, but you know, this tripod that's on right now is a lot better because I can just kind of, you know, twist it around, aim it at something, and just kind of work on it. Uh, yeah. And I might as well make use of all the uh, camera equipment I have because I have quite a bit of it. And I only use like this pretty much. So, <laughs> yeah. And I'll, you know what? If you guys want to see like a, all my camera equipment and just kind of a little overview of everything I use, you can uh, just tell me in the comments and I'll uh, make a video of all the camera equipment I have. But for now, uh, you know, just got this stuff going. Anyways, I'm getting to side sidetrack now. So let's get back to this actual uh, what the video is about. All right. Let's see. I wonder if one sheet will work for two door panels. You know what? It might actually, because that's only using about half of it. So, let's get this about right there. Hold that. And then, right about there. I don't need to hold that anymore. And just kind of cut a little slit, if I can. There we go. Cut a little slit in there, so now I can kind of lay it out and cut a nice, as straight line as I can. So, uh, yeah, let's go find a spot to lay this down and cut it out. Daisy, get it. All right, here I am inside. Decided to bring it inside just to make it a little bit easier on the carpet. Here's a slit right here. I'm just gonna cut it straight down, just like that. These aren't fabric scissors, I don't think, so they're probably not gonna work very well, but that's all right. Actually a lot easier than expected, so got two halves. I'm gonna see 
they look almost the same size, so I might be able to use, might be able to just use one sheet for you know both the rear doors. So we'll we'll see about that. But yeah, let's go bring them back out and see how it fits. All right, so we can use one of each for uh, the two rear doors, so that's good. So I'm gonna toss this one over to the side right now, and we'll uh, start getting this one glued up. And then once we're done gluing it, we'll cut it out, you know, all along the edge and wherever it needs to be to make it look nice. And then probably cut a hole in it for the door handle. Uh, yeah, we'll figure that out. But yeah, all right. I guess we'll get uh, get started gluing and all that. All right, so I uh, got it all on there. Uh, just need to cut off, you know, all the edges and stuff. And yeah, I had a little mess up over in this area, but it looks it looks fine. So I just need to cut all this stuff off, and it should hopefully look all right. And then we'll do the other side, and you know, see how it turned out. All right, there we go. I did a pretty rough cutting on the edge there, but uh, you know, I think it looks better, <laughs> a lot better than just the random stuff. I decided not to cut a hole in it for the handle thing. I'm just gonna have it like that. And if somebody really needs to get out from the back seat, they can just crawl up and get out from the front. So, uh, or I can just let them out. Uh, yeah, besides that though, I think it, it turned out all right. It looks pretty good, I think. Uh, you know, it's not meant to look amazing. It's just kind of something to fill it in and be lightweight because that weighs like one ounce, so you know. Uh, yeah, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the other side really quick and then I'll report back to you. So I'll see you in a second. All right, here we go. Got this one done. And then we got this one, which I think this one looks a little bit better since I you know, learned from my mistakes. But they both look pretty good, so I don't know. I think, uh, you know, I think they'll be good, so yeah, let's go ahead and make sure this one closes because it's kind of over that door thing. Yeah, it kind of like, you know, moves out a little bit, that's all right. So now let's look at it from the inside. Well, just through the car, kind of. All right, let's uh, see here. There we go, <laughs> it actually looks, it's pretty nice. There's something sticking out right there. That's all right though. I think it looks pretty good. So yeah, let's uh, close that one up. And you can't really see it through there, but there we go. Oh, we can see it through there. Anyways, all right. Uh, maybe in a different video I'll do these front ones. But for now, I'm just gonna keep this one's on here pretty good. I mean, it's, you know, it doesn't shake around too much. And that one, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do these, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, anyways. Yeah, because that's it for this video, guys. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.